Shameless plug. Shameless plug. A little art. Shameless plug. <laughs> hey, good morning. Coming to you from dry and dusty Bliss Ranch. Another week here and I go home to my honey. Enough of the snakes in the house. Well, you had to be on my personal page to see that. But About three weeks ago, I left the garage door open and a rattlesnake snuck into the garage. And yesterday, I left the front door of the house open and a, well, it was just a gardener snake, but he was like cruising into the house, in the kitchen. So, um, that's why Kimmy doesn't come to the ranch. Snakes. Kimmy! Hey, honey. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, um, today is just a shameless plug. So, I uh, rarely sell anything on Daily Dose of Salt, but today I'm selling, I'm promoting, I'm endorsing, I'm enrolling, I'm uh, educating, and... So for those of you that follow me that don't have any interest at all in network marketing, multi-level marketing, the pyramid thing, this is a day where you can just check out. Right? You, can, you get the day off. You don't have to listen. You can go somewhere else this morning. And for those of you that do have an appreciation for that business model and that income option, uh, here's the shameless plug. I am releasing tomorrow the 12th edition of the four-year career. That's right. The 12th edition of the four-year career on a Zoom that any of you can attend for free. It's at 6 o'clock Pacific time. I or someone of my trusty staff will drop a link into the comments. Uh, you do have to register to attend, but it doesn't cost anything. It'll go about an hour long. And here's what we're going to do on that Zoom. I'm going to um, talk about some things that most of you perhaps have not heard about our uh, income option, our model. I'm going to talk about some new concepts uh, that help educate people about how it works and why it works and how to make it work and uh, so we're not going to be talking about the book so much as we're going to be talking about how to make this thing work and why to make it work. And of course, if you could lump into like one, one bucket, why network marketing? Here's where it lands for me. And I, I get all the resistance to it. I get it's not popular. I get people don't have time. I get people don't like to sell. I get all that stuff. I respect it. I admire it. I embrace it. I get it. It's okay, right? We don't want everybody to join because if everybody joined, we would saturate the world in about 20 generations of four who get four. So we actually need a lot of people to say no. We need most people to say no so that we don't have saturation as an issue. But for those of you that might say yes, here's what I would hang on to in consideration of why network marketing as an income option. Because where else in the world, on the planet, in the universe, can you start with, let's say, $500, which is actually a pretty high number for most network marketing opportunities. Let's say you start with $500. Let's say, say you start with 30 minutes a day, just 30 minutes a day. And those of you that are in my run through rank programs know you can get a lot done in 30 minutes a day. You can build an empire in 30 minutes a day. And, you know, you start making two, three, four thousand dollars a month. You might work an hour a day, maybe even two if you're so inclined. But you can launch it on a half hour a day. So where else can you start with five hundred dollars? half hour a day you get to choose the half hour whenever it is up totally up to you 
Here's probably the, one of the most important things. You get free mentoring, partnership, and coaching by multimillionaires that have built an income with the product of your choice and the comp plan and the company of your choice. Because all of us have in our, what we call the upline, we have multimillionaires. All of us, unless you're in a brand new company, you have multimillionaires that have done it with your product and your comp plan. Free coaching, free mentoring. And it's not like they're doing it out of a courtesy and yeah, maybe I'll tell you how I did it, right? No, they're all in for you. Why? Because the more successful you are, the more successful they are. You're not taking anything away from them if you're successful. You add to their success, right? This isn't competition. It's, colla it's collaboration. Where else can you do that? Where else can you go to somebody who's a multimillionaire with a particular product or service and a particular company, not just an industry, but like a, you know, like a particular product or service. Now, you know, maybe real estate and maybe mortgages have that angle. I, I think they do, but you're also competing with the person who's coaching you, right? Because the more listings you get, the fewer listings they get. And it doesn't work that way in network marketing. It's a limitless, total abundance mentality because there's no territories. You can go anywhere, right? And then, uh, you know, but like the next thing, which uh, where else do you get this is, uh, you know, growth in the model comes from, okay, if I love a product and I tell somebody about that product and they fall in love with that product, well, they can tell somebody about that product who can fall in love with it. So you get exponential growth of the customer base, exponential growth. Four who get four, who get four, who get four, who get four, is four, 16, 64, 256, 1,000, 24, 4,096, 17,000 something, 75,000 something, a half a million something, two million something, eight million. Yeah. You can, and where else can you get that kind of growth? Where else do you get that kind of exponential growth? Only in Raising Rabbits. That's the only other place you get exponential growth of profits and income is Raising Rabbits. It's the only other place. So if you told me, hey, I'd rather raise rabbits than network marketing, I get it. Maybe they're more fun, right? They don't talk, which could be an advantage over network marketing. <laughs> Distributors talk, tell stories, BS you, give you all kinds of excuses and stories, right? But here's the last and most profound thing about network marketing. Where else can you build something once? I don't know. How long is once? I don't know. It could be four years. could be seven years. could be 10 years. could be two years. Where else can you build something once? On a part-time basis with $500 with massive mentoring and exponential growth? And if you pick the right product, get paid on it forever. You paid on it forever. If you pick the right product and the right company, company has to stay in business forever. People have to be buying the product forever. Repeat customers forever. And you say, well, how, how could that possibly be? Well, you know, uh, Shackley and Neolife, they've been paying people for over 60 years. Juice Plus just celebrated their 50th birthday. That's at least two generations of people. Amway, 50 years. Mary Kay, 50 years. There's about a dozen companies that have been paying people for a lifetime. And if if paying people for two life, if paying people for one lifetime is any indication of the product's demand, kind of suggests that maybe it'll go for another 50 years, right? If a product can stay relevant in the last 50 years, every decade, with all the changes, all the competition, all the technology, all the inventions, all the marketing, all the advertising, if a product can stay relevant, direct to consumer, where people are buying it direct from a distributor or the distributor's website for 50 years, well, it stands to, to reason it'll make it another 50 years, right? So where else can you build it once and get paid forever? Where else? And when you build something once that pays you forever, now you've built an asset. Now you deploy the rule of 200, which the four-year career book will teach you about. What does that mean? 
Well, if you make $2,000 a month and it all comes from repeat customers that have proven they're not going anywhere because they've been around for four or five years, repeat customers, and you make two grand a month, well, that two grand a month is worth 200 times as an asset. You have a $400,000 asset. At today's interest rate, probably a million dollar asset. How does that work? What does that, what does that mean? Well, if you have something that you own this distributorship and it's paying you two grand a month, really, no matter what you do, because if you're making two grand a month with seasoned repeat customers, what do you need to do? Well, yeah, you can add a few and they can add a few, but that's organic. That's natural. That just happens, right? So if you're making two grand a month, that distributor sits an asset. Did I just say distributor shits? I did. <laughs> so here's the analogy. Uh, let's say you have a rental house and it's paid for and it pays you two grand a month. Now, can you just ignore the rental house? No, you got to maintain it. You got to make sure it's rented. You got to go by and look at it, right? You can't like uh, throw eggs at it, right? You can't let it rot. You can't like not fix stuff. You got to maintain it. You got to maintain a network marketing distributorship as well. But if you own a rental house that pays you two grand a month in net income, what's it worth? What's it worth in your market where you live? Drop the answer in here right now. Drop the answer in the comments. If you own a rental home in your market where you live, in your town, and it rents for $2,000 a month, what's it worth, David? I forget where are you, David. Are you in Texas? But you know the answer to this, David. You know the rule of 200. You've been in a... Have you been in a four-year career? No, you're a hero call. <clears throat> What's the answer? No, I am in. How's it? Oh, David says, how's it? Okay. 600 grand, John says. Actually, tell us where you are. Tell us where you are and what a rental home that pays two grand a month in rent is worth where you live. Stuart, where are you and what is a rental home worth that pays two grand a month drop it in the comments please you don't have to you know you can just give it an educated guess so i'm here in central california and a rental home here that you rent for two grand a month is going to cost about a half a million dollars now uh in lanai where we live uh if you're going to pay two thousand dollars a month uh what's that home worth oh it's probably worth uh let's say three hundred thousand dollars something like that on on lanai and it what it all has to do folks is like return on investment right so if you put uh half a million dollars in the bank and you're getting a six percent annual return well you're making 30 grand a year that's 2500 dollars a month so that's where the rule of 200 comes from but the simplest way to calculate it is just real estate so i see sandy four hundred thousand dollars tell us where it is too sandy so we can get a look at the world and the different real estate values the asset values but back to why network marketing where else can you do that folks where else can you own a rental home with 500 dollars down and an hour a day's work for four or five years. Where else can you do that? That's just two grand a month. There's a lot of people on this call that make five, 10, 20, 50. I know people that make 200 with legitimate products, not stupid Forex or crypto thing. I mean, real products that people are going to be buying 50 years from now, make 200, $300,000 a month. And no, they didn't do it in four or five years. Some of them did it seven. <laughs> Where else can you do that in the world? You can't. Anyway, so this is the 12th edition of the four-year career. It's brand new. Let me tell you who's in it. Um, first person in it is J.J. Burden. Used to be a, a wide receiver, I think, for the Denver Broncos. Isogenics. J.J.'s got a great story. Tony and Sarah Zalecki are in Modair, and they they got they got a fabulous story. Uh, Sarah's um, Eric Worre's niece. How about that? Doug and Charlene Fike from Shackley. Uh, Charlene's got an awesome story. She built her Shackley income while she was in college, 
and then she took 16 years off and lived on her Shackley income and her income never changed for 16 years. And then she went back to building. Luciana Fagaldo in uh, uh, Man Attack. He's like a, he's a veteran. Like he's like a World War II veteran in network marketing. He's got to be a professional networker for 40 years. Great wisdom, great experience, great success in Manatech. Ian Farrar is in uh, Purium, a top distributor in Purium, which is, you know, not one of those well-known companies, but one of those companies that just has bulletproof products and people just keep becoming raving fans of the product, which means, in my mind, it's going to be here 100 years from now. It's already been here at least 10 or 15 years. Tara Wilson in Life Manage. I just did a Zoom call for her team last week. Awesome products, awesome company. Uh, been around long enough to have proven. I don't put any companies in the four-year career that have, haven't proven it. Proven their products in, der, in demand. She's got way, way, way more customers than she's got distributors. A growing company that's already 14 years old or something like that. Um Wendy Baki is in Yoli, uh, which is another one of those companies, kind of like Purium. Not a lot of people have heard of Yoli. They got like a 10 to 1 customer to distributor ratio. Why? People love, love, love Yoli products. They use them and buy them forever. Michael DiMuccio and Nikon, which, gosh, Nikon probably has to be celebrating their 50th birthday, too. And how does a company get to 50 years? Bulletproof products, products that are unique, products that are copied, imitated, but uh, never innovated. Nobody's ever built products better than the Nikon products. They invented the categories, and Michael has a lifelong business because of that. Robin, Robin Packard, who's in Zingular, which is another 10-year-old company, weight loss, owned by a friend of mine, Rudy Revac, uh, doing a fantastic job. In the 2020, Zingular's grown like 300%. It's crazy growth they're getting for a 10-year-old company. Tom Chenault. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who he is or what company he's with. Oh, the love like crazy, then love some more guy. I remember now he's with longevity. Ah, gosh, how long they've been around 25, 30 years or something like that. And Tom's been around for 80 and you know, Tom's just one of the most prolific giving, loving, promoting network marketing ambassadors on the planet. Those are the people featured in the four year career. You're going to hear from all of them on Monday night about how and why they use the four-year career to build their business. And you can too. So with that, I'll see you tomorrow.